All right, so here we go with the match starting off. All right, so Cloud and Sora versus Pikachu and Sora starting on Battlefield, not PS2, which, thank the heavens. <laughs> Almost. This is actually a really good stage for both Soras right here. The amount of extensions they can get off of this is going to be insane. If their partners will even let them do that. Almost oh, definitely. And right now, though, from the looks of it, Booty is definitely having a really solid start right now. Only at 11% against uh, Micro 64%. But mm -hmm. Joe Pawn also in a really comfortable position, not really being able to get anything much off of that. Accidentally freezing your partner. In case you're in case you're new to doubles, like in Smash in general, team attack is on by default. Where uh, you know if you swing the wrong way, you might accidentally hit or KO your teammate. But uh, it can also save them in Most some instances definitely. when they need to recover and they quite can't do it. Especially with Sora. Like, Sora can go out and save his friends from anywhere on the screen. It and feels right like. now, though, Karks him all the way at the edge if you can make it back safely. Oh, and a really good smash coming out from Booty, but unfortunately not kill. Exactly. I know, right? It's insane. Oh my goodness. And Booty in a really weird spot right now. It's a 2v1 scenario, but Karkson does come back dash and securing a kill going with to take the first stock. Oh, no, the cross slash. Slash. Uh, For the most part at the moment, it just kind of feels like they're trying to fill each other out and not over committing too much. But the moment, oh, he gets a backer off the side like that. Really good stuff from him. Yeah, and in a lot of doubles games, especially in Ultimate, compared to Smash 4, you'll see a lot of, like, 1v1s on either side of the screen, people trying not to, like, interfere with each other, like, it's like you're playing at a party, but, you know, sometimes you need to go out there and secure kills, much the way that Jopo just did yeah, against Yeah, unfortunately, Putin. Carson just kind of letting that happen, just staying on center stage, not doing anything about it. Yeah, uh, aerial sweep definitely going to take at 168. Yeah, but at the moment, this isn't looking too bad for either side, with only Joe Pond really having any sort of damage at the moment. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, I was going to say, Blue was in a really difficult spot, but he was able to make it back. It's interesting that Karksim is opting to just, like, kind of provide support in the way just like, oh, I'm just going to throw spells out and Booty goes in and gets stuff started. Most definitely, but right now that might start coming oh, back no. to hit them. Oh, with an amazing tech. I, w I was so afraid he was gone. Oh, definitely. If there's one thing Booty definitely has, is a technical prowess to know when he has to be careful with that. No! Jopo messing up the quick attack. He's going to drop his stock. That is, um, dropping, like, SDing in doubles is so bad because it also spells, like, you know, puts a little more pressure on your teammate to try and stock tank, try and hold on for as long as they can to make up the difference, if possible. Most definitely, and that back Very, right there gonna cost a stock. Yeah, that was well-timed from uh, Karkson there. And we see uh, exactly what you were saying. Booty and Karkson have this sort of dynamic where one goes in, tries to do all the damage, and then the other comes in for support. Whether or not he's playing Little Mac or Sora, that's essentially the same game plan they've been doing this whole entire bracket. Yeah. Okay, good DI on uh, Booty's part. Bit of rage. Oh, he almost... He almost chopped Joe Pone's head clean off. Oh, I just want to comment that that was a really good mix of recovery from Booty's part. He was going in low, but the immediate jump in just to evade that downer. All right, now you're uh, a 1v4 stock situation. That's uh, not great. Uh, definitely not. It's looking, this is looking to be a really clean game run coming from Booty and Karkstam, and we might see a change in Joe Pond and Micro's characters because right now it's not exactly working between the two of them. And a really that was a smash. perfectly timed grab release. The first game going to Karksum and Bute. Really, and a solid two-stock lead on both of their ends too. That's incredibly impressive. Yeah, they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they know. They got that. Uh, they got that silent communication on deck. I can't say the same for Joe Point and Micro. I don't think they're doing bad per se. Yeah, but I mean, they made it to winter semis. They clearly have something. Y you're right. You're right. I'm not. I don't want to downplay them, but in at least in that game one it looked a, like a little they looked a little lost as to how to really keep advantage and of course the sd on uh, joe bones end didn't help that but yeah i feel like if it wasn't for that sd it might have been a little bit closer those mm -hmm. first two stops they had was relative and we're seeing the little mat coming from garkson yeah they uh, opted to go to fd uh that's the thing though you have to know what your players play because then do, situations do they, like this happen <laughs> i was about to say do they know that he has a little mat J joe Pone probably should i think he's been around for quite a bit but uh, probably like a lapse in judgment. We'll, we'll see how it actually pans out because, you know, Little Mac is still Little Mac at the end of the day. That he has true. 
problems, to put it a nice way. Most definitely. However, keep in mind, though, he has a double turner now, so his recovery, while still exploitable, could definitely be saved by Booty if he's able to get that recovery out. Unfortunately, getting crossed by Booty's limit cross loss. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. You hear the bell. Oh, wait, that's oh, a wait. jump. No, hold, he... on, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, no. Unfortunately, missing the tech. Mm. I gotta say, very uncommon for Karkson, especially as a Lillamech main. Yeah, you kind of need to have all, any any and everything else with increased rise. But you know what? You know what? I it. like that trade. <laughs> I like that trade a lot. Just like, I'm not going to make it back, but I'm taking you with me. Come here. All right, so currently right now, Micro taking the stock lead. But as we've seen with Lillamech, if he gets a solid KO push conversion, that can suddenly go away like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. And a really good mix-up recovery by Karkson right there. And you see uh, Booty applying pressure to keep Sora off of him as well. Definitely. At the moment, though, they're Ooh. doing considerably a lot better considering that they counterpicked FD as Little Mac. Oh, did you see... <laughs> did you see how nice that conversion was? Oh, oh I didn't miss no! It. It's it's a I'm... Oh, no, you're forcing mm. a team kill coming out from Booty's part. Yeah, this is looking a lot more favorable towards Jopon and Micro right now. I feel like this... So something might have shifted. They may have gone too overconfident in this. Mm -hmm. Is what I honestly think. And another missed tech coming from Booty, and that's the stop right there. Uh, this is much a complete opposite of how game one went. Almost oh, definitely. Micro By a just bigger deficit at like that. Micro still hasn't lost a single stop. I, and spoke that, that. I spoke that into existence. Why did See, you have I, to say that? I'm, I'm on your side, guys. I'm on your exactly. side. I, I know how it is. And really, though, it's all the way. He has to air dodge. He might be able to make it back. Uh, and miss the tech again. That's very vital as Lillamack for half of Lando's techs. So say FD is still on the table. Do you think he's staying Mac? No, I feel probably like after not. this match, he's probably more than aware now that Mac is not the correct player here. And right, this is looking very tough right now for Booty. A four-stock lead okay. from Joe Pond and Micro right now. He's just getting juggled back and forth right now. And a really solid conversion right there. And a down beat coming in. Not taking the stock quite yet. If that led in the aerial sweep, I was going to pop off. Almost oh, definitely. Oh, this is... Booty trying to salvage something, but this is going to be such an uphill climb and an unsafe rising forwarder leading into the stock lead. I mean, at that point, you have to swing with something. Yeah, I mean, you got to swing with something, but you got to make sure it's safe. Game 2 going to Joe Pwn and Micro, that uh, counter pick, Paying dividends quite a bit. Most definitely. Right now, though, I think they're feeling a lot more confident after that game. They've shown that they have something to fight back with, and we might see a character swap back to Sora on Coxman's part. It most definitely wasn't the right decision going Little Mac in that scenario, even if it was FD, because as we saw right there, if that was Sora, he would have made that back, even if he missed the tuck. If it was Sora, he'd be uh, making it back from anywhere. Exactly, man. It's crazy. So I don't see... Okay, we're going to small battlefield now. Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, we're seeing going back to the Sora. That <laughs> definitely didn't work out that last game. The idea was sound, but uh, Little Mac is still Little Mac at the end of the day. What can you do? Yeah, Espe especially in a doubles format. It's a lot harder to duck and weave past two people. All right, so off the bat, we see Micro just over there spamming neutral B right now. This is still best of three, so whoever loses here is going to uh, take a swan dive into the loser's bracket. I can imagine that none of these players want to be going with it right now. Just the cool brawl that's going to be waiting for them on loser's side. And there's a lot to there's a lot to be said about that because, like, mentality and like to play in a bracket like of this, especially in this region, to stay competitive, you need to have very good bracket stamina and. There's no telling how two players, teams, can have like the same amount of stamina going throughout losers, so Most definitely. everyone's fighting and for Carson, their lives. Unfortunately, the air dodge caused on the SD, that was a really good gimmick by Jopon right there. I'm, I'm glad you caught that, because I, I was about to say, why did Sora fall down? It's Sora. <laughs> but if he air dodged, that makes a lot more sense. Almost definitely. I think he was expecting maybe a tech on the side, Here's and up and up he do doesn't it. kill quite yet. Pikachu at 122 is still living. I uh -oh. don't know if that was advice. Oh my. That was almost. Oh, this is looking really dangerous right now. Karkson has to make this back right now. Okay, you make it back. Can you save? No, actually made it back on his own merits. Good enough. 
Oh, I love how he was able to evade the moment he saw Joe Pong coming in. He knew he was going to be able to finish that combo. I don't know if I agree with Joe Pong, like, giving up uh, Booty and Disadvantage to go help Micro. Like, I don't think they were doing that bad. You definitely want to take out his stock at 165. It's definitely. Especially against someone like Cloud with an explosive recovery. You. And he misses the side. However, he was at a fairly high oh, percentage, so it wasn't no. too bad. How could this happen to him? He made a miss space. Got nowhere to run. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, now. Don't, okay. Oh, my goodness. Booty's popping off right now. Oh, okay, he's popping off a little bit too much. <laughs> a really unsafe S smash on shield. He has limit, though. Let's see if he's able to make something out of this. Stocks are just about even on both ends. Oh, and unfortunately, doesn't get anything out of that. Got a little bit too impatient. Good save. Now, we see, though, Carson's definitely playing a lot slower now. He's aware he's at 125. He doesn't want to lose his stock right now. Uh-oh. Tried to time the uh, break out of ice to get the up smash. Didn't quite pan out, but the idea was sound. Oh, and Joe Pond missing the up smash, almost losing the stock for it. Back throw? Wow, that... Okay, I was about to say, that almost killed, but I saw the percent. Oh, really good by Booty being able to take that stock right there. Ew, that that was a fairly good trade, I'd say. That sent at a horrible angle, that dash attack. Oh my god. Right now, Booty definitely trying to make sure to take on this stock. At 123, a solid hit off the stage might be the infirm. But notice how we're seeing a difference now. Bowie's playing a lot more defensive while Carson is the one going in aggro. You kind of have to with uh, 134. You want to hold that stock for everything you've got. It's definitely. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way of Booty maybe not coming in to support him. Oh, but uh -oh. also don't get hit by your partner Sundaga. Which I'm realizing is a really good way to, like, maintain stage control for a single button in this format. Definitely, especially in a situation like doubles where you have much more opponents to to hit. Case in point, Joe but uh, just... Joe Pone's like, no, <laughs> I'm I'm the electric mascot. You don't do that. And so they die by up at 123. So right now, again, we don't want to count Micro out just yet, even though Booty is at a really good stock lead. He does. Oh, and a really amazing DI coming from Micro. They went for swag. They went for swag. I respect Definitely. You. All right, you don't want to go for swag too much though. Oh. And right now, a really impressive upbeat, taking the stock right there. Karkson and Booty winning 2-1. Yeah, they they just uh, brought back the OG Square duo and came out with a set win over uh, Joe Pone and Micro. And good for them, because exactly. they get to breathe a little easier now. They <laughs> are... They are guaranteed at least third. But like you said about home bracket mentality, we saw how that game one went. It kind of looked like it was going to be an easy 2-0, but they mm -hmm. brought it back that game soon. Game three was looking mighty close until, uh, unfortunately, they kind of got bodied there at the end.